Hello Primary uh, 6, uh, today we will take your lesson representing quantity, uh, quantities by data by frequency curve. We studied uh, in the last lesson how, what is the meaning of quantitative data. Yeah, but, but the quantitative data, uh, if you have some numbers, okay, uh, how we can uh, represent this number in frequency curve. For example, if we have the, the these tables uh, between the age and the number of patients from 10 to 20, we have a 6, and from 20 to 38 patients, from 30 to 40, 12 patients, from 40 to 50, 15 patients, from 50 to 60, 10 patients, from 60 and more. Nine patients. Then the total number of patients <laughs> equals sixty. Follow the following steps. The first step: draw the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. Number two: divide each of them into equal parts, which are suitable for the given suitable for uh, the given data determine the center of each set as a follows. The centers of number 10. We said this note the last lesson. Okay, we studied for uh, how we can calculate the center of set for the last lesson. Uh, the center will well, uh, lower limit plus the upper limit over 2. Yani 10 plus 20 over 2 equal 15. Okay, now the center of the set 20 and more is huh, 20 will be 20 lower limit plus an upper limit over 2 equal 25 type as in the on uh, and uh, so on uh, and so on tell the set 60 huh, we in next uh, next age of 60 huh, 70 type 60 plus 70 over 2 equals 65 this is the first step for drawing the frequency curve Now, from the these tables, we can draw. This is uh, the chart. Here, the ages on the x-axis, okay, with the number of patients on the y-axis, and should be divided into into equal parts. Here, 10, 20, 30. Here, 10, 20, 30. This is uh, 6, 8, 20 according to the chart. Here, we we can divide it into a, a equal part by even number. Here, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Right. Now, from the uh, the last page, we determine the center of each one. The center, the center of 10 here, huh, the center of the set has to be equal 10 plus 20 uh, over 2 equal 15. Now, if we have 10 between them, can it can 15? If we add 15 huh, with this point at 6 at the frequency, so from 25 and between 20 and 30, 25. Huh, 25 from the x-axis, 25 go to y-axis at 8. Type. And should be right, uh, I will determine the point, now uh, this point, before e, before we connect it. Type. Uh, el, el, between 30 or 40, 35 go to 12. Type. From 40 to 50, 45 go to huh, 15, 15 between 14 and 16. Type so between 50 and uh, 50 and 60, 55 go to uh, go to 10. So from 60 and 70 here 65 go to 9. And 9 is here before 10, just one milli millimeter. Okay. After we finish, uh, write or uh, determine this point uh, should be connected together. Okay. Now, example, uh, between a set, or this tables between a set and frequency. Uh, remember, the primary six, the center of set, of the set. 
lower limit plus upper limit over 2. Fine. The center of 10 equal 10 plus 20 over 2 equal 15. Then we can, يعني, if you, um, يعني you can write uh, this is table or another table who are to find the center of set uh, between them. يعني هنا between 10 and 5 we uh, 15 اللي هي center of set. And this is, you can uh, do this uh, tables or no as you like. Yeah. Okay. This is chart from this table. This is the first chart layer bet between between 10 and 20. We have huh, at a at five. The point at a point five. Go to point five. Uh, and between 20 and 30, layer 25. Go to seven. Between 30 and 40, go to 12. Between 40 and 50, go uh -huh, layer 45. Go to 9. From uh, from 50 and 60, go, uh, 55, go to 7. After we finish, uh, write this point should be connected together. This is a frequency polygon. One is a shakil frequency. Okay. This is a frequency curve. You know the difference between the frequency polygon and frequency curve. Frequency curve, curve, يعني هنا connected with using ruler. لكن هنا connected with using your hands. Okay. This is the difference between them. Frequency polygon and frequency curve with the same steps for drawing the point. But there's a difference between them. And هنا connected between the point. Uh, between it, any, uh, uh, each two points by using ruler. Like in here, connecting between the two points by using your hand. Okay? Now, thank you for good lesson in primary six. If you can't understand this lesson, please repeat this video.